go to Ewood Park. Uh, James Mason can tell us it's all over and a valuable three points and win for Steve Keane's men. You can say that again, Gabby. Blackburn three, Fulham won the final score and despite being reduced to ten men midway through the first half, Blackburn produced one of their finest displays of the season to record this much needed win. So Chelsea three one down from their defeat in Naples last week. Chelsea four to six to win at Stamford Bridge. 11 to four the draw on Napoli, a very enticing three to one. It looks big. Still looking for his first win of the season, Roy Keane. James Mason. You won't believe it, Gabby. I was just about to wrap up and say 1-1, one, one, but Barnsley have scored in the final minute. The fifth minute of time added on, Roy Keane will surely have something to say about that. There was more injury time carnage for Roy Keane's Ipswich at Barnsley. It's now 11 games without a win, although don't tell him. We mentioned it once and we think we got away with it. And people are going to ask me to ask you, are you going to stay on? I refuse to answer that question. We'll take that as a yes then. Take it whatever you want. Hold the stair and leave. That's right. We should praise James Mason there. They're very brave. <laughs> These two very much enjoyed that. A penalty <laughs> at the DW Stadium and Paul Robinson is involved. Cut his head as well. You might be surprised by this, James Mason. Oh, goodness me, chappers, where do I start? The game started with me having to tear my notes up because Yakubu scored within 90 seconds. Now at the death, Andre Mariner has given a penalty to Blackburn Rovers. And I mean, this is time added on. The last kick of the game, perhaps. Paul Robinson has gone up for a corner. He's tried to head the ball that David Jones, the Wigan defender, has raised his boot to, and probably every right to, but because Paul Robinson stooped down to head it, the boot's hit his head. Andre Mariner's pointed to the spot. Paul Robinson is going to now take treatment. You're probably going to have to come back to me because I think Andre Mariner is going to have to sort this mess out. The cricket, of course, the second test um, at Lords between England and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka haven't won a test match against England at Lords ever, would you believe? They started off well this morning. Uh, they had England at 22 for three. It's now 222 for five. I'm going to stop at the moment because Lee Phelps has just done this, which means he must have something. Had to check, got a, a bump to the nose in the first half. Uh, you can see there he's got a nice bandage on his nose. He stayed on the pitch, Gabby, and thwarted Hoylett and Hanley very late on. And David Dunn even crashed a header against the bar, so it wasn't to be Blackburn's day. But as you say, Chelsea back to winning ways, ending their mini losing run with a performance from old, winning by a single goal scored by their ever reliable Frank Lampard. So England take on Holland in a friendly ahead of the Euro 2012 Championships. For England to win this match, 11 to 8 is our price. For Holland, 17 to 10. The draw is 2 to 1. But who's going to score the goals for these two sides? Perhaps one of the Daniels for England. Danny Welbeck, 6 to 1 to score first. Daniel Sturridge is 13 to 2. And for Holland, the goal machine Robin Van Persie in at 5 to 1, whereas Klaas Jan Huntelaar is 13 to 2. Final whistle's gone at Bloomfield Road. Blackpool couldn't find that last minute equaliser, could they, James Mason? They couldn't, no. With Darren Bent gone, Gabby, the relevant question asked by Sunderland fans prior to kick-off was who will score the goals to continue their upward momentum? The answer, of course, Kieran Richardson, an unlikely hero who scored his first and second goals of the season before half-time.